All right, so I want to talk about a question where a company gives a oil change for half price. So they give half price on an oil change if it takes longer than 20 minutes. All right, so if the oil change takes longer than 20 minutes, they're going to give you half price. Now, this is dealing with a normal distribution, not a binomial distribution, because time here is the random variable. If you think about it, the time it takes to complete the oil change is a continuous random variable. So we're dealing with a normal distribution. So let's go ahead and read it. It says, the time required for an automotive center to complete an oil change service on an automobile approximately follows a normal distribution with a mean of 15 minutes and a standard deviation of three minutes. The automotive center guarantees customers that the service will take no longer than 20 minutes. If it does take longer, the customer will receive the service for half price. What percent of customers receive the service for half price? And B, if the automotive center does not want to give the discount to more than 3% of its customers, how long should it make the guaranteed time limit? All right, so there's a lot of things going on in this question. One thing to notice is that the time required, it follows a normal distribution with a mean of 15 minutes and a standard deviation of three minutes. So we can say in symbols, we could say X is approximately normally distributed with mean of 15 and standard deviation of three, all right? So we're dealing with the normal distribution. We know the mean and we know the standard deviation. So now we can answer the question. Now it says that if it takes longer, longer than 20 minutes, then they get half price. All right, so let's draw a picture of that for part A. If you draw the normal curve and in the middle, you put the mean of 15 and you put over here, if you put longer than what, 20? So 20 minutes is there. So we need to find the probability right here. So this would be what we're looking for. What is this probability? All right, so to find this probability, we're gonna use norm CDF. Now norm CDF, how it works is it's like this. Norm CDF, you're gonna put the lower limit, the upper limit, the mean, and the standard deviation. And that will give you the probability. In this situation, we know that the lower limit is what? 20. And the upper limit is infinity. So if we go ahead and find this probability, we'll say the probability that X is greater than or equal to 20 equals norm CDF. Now the lower limit of this shaded region right here, like I said, it is 20. So I'm going to put 20 because 20 is on the left of this shaded region. And the upper limit, this thing goes all the way to infinity, all the way. So we're going to say that infinity but we're just gonna use a big number like 9999 and the mean we can say is 15 that's given that was given right here the mean and standard deviation so 15 comma 3 all right so that's it you just got to plug that into your calculator so let's see let's plug it in and see what we get so distribution is right below this down arrow you see this down arrow that I'm pressing you see distribution it's in yellow since it's in yellow I need to hit second vars it takes me to that and this is what I want norm CDF normal CDF okay so if I click that I need to plug in 20 comma a bunch of nines comma 15 comma 3 and you get the answer which is 0 0.0478 okay so when part a says what percent of customers receive the service for half price we could say if, if we want to round to the nearest let's say hundred of a percent what would that be rounded to the hundredth of a percent? It would be 4.78%, okay? 4.78%. Now part B says, if the automotive center does not want to give the discount to more than 3% of its customers, how long should it make the guaranteed time limit? This is a tough question. So notice that we're giving the discount to 4.78% of people. If I wanna decrease the percentage, I basically need to move this line to the right. So I need to move it up from 20 minutes to like I don't know 22 minutes but how high should I move it to what exact time limit are we gonna move it to so let's see so for part B what I'm gonna do is this I'm gonna draw the distribution with 15 in the middle and then I'll, I'll call this X and then what I'll do is I'll call this probability right here is 0 0.03 right 0 0.03 because it's three percent we want to only give the discount to three percent of the customers that's gonna save us money now that this represents time this thing represents time so this three percent is the top three percent of oil change 
durations, right? The, the oil changes that take a long time. Some oil changes will take a long time, some will take a short time. So these up here are the problematic ones and we only want it to be 3%. So in this case, we're trying to find a value. So we're finding a value. All right, so when you're trying to find a value, you use inverse normal. So we're gonna say X equals to inverse norm. And we're gonna plug in, ah, tricky part. You're actually gonna have to plug in 0 0.97 because the thing about inverse norm is, I'm gonna show you how it works. You plug in the area to the left and then you plug in the mean and the standard deviation. So notice that we're plugging in the area to the left. So yes, this does say 3%, but I need to plug in 97% because that's how inverse normal works for most calculators. Most calculators, they go area to the left. So I'm gonna plug in inverse norm, 0 0.97, 15 minutes. And then what was it? Three minutes for the standard deviation, yes. So this is gonna tell me how long an oil change has to last to be really the 97th percentile is what we're looking for. So if I pull this out, now, same place, right here below, down arrow, the bars, so second bars, takes you to distribution, and you see inverse norm right here, number three, click that, plug in 0.97, comma, 15, comma, three, and it gives us that, so it gives us 20.64, and that would be minutes, so if an oil change lasted 20 minutes and 64 seconds or longer, the person would get half price off. So only 3% of oil changes will last longer than 20 minutes and 64 seconds. All right, that's it. We drove 60 minutes just to go to the cave. Well, we couldn't go in it cause it started to rain. We had to drop back, but that's just all right.